Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, please don't mind the status of my shirt. I am covered in paint. I am deep in a kitchen makeover and I'm in the middle of a bit of a mishap. A mess was made. Um, there's just, there's a situation, but I'm, I'm working through it. I'm working through it, but everything is a mess right now. Today's video is an update on a piece of art that I had thrifted. I'll put a card up here so that way if you want to watch that video to see uh, me finding this piece, you can. But this video is just going to be short, sweet, and to the point so that I can get back to dealing with this kitchen. I hope that's the next video that I have coming up, but that will be pending any additional setbacks. All right, so I am going to be like referencing my notes here. I'm obviously relaying what a professional told me about Walter. For those of you that don't know, my mom and I just started calling this piece Walter when we found it for no real reason, but we just did. But basically what happened was I had found an expert in this area online and learned a little bit through her videos, obviously not the same thing as an actual expert looking at it. And then I kind of forgot about it and it got put on the back burner a little bit just because I had so many other things going on. And then recently someone commented on my video, I believe her name was Casey. Casey, if you happen to be watching, thank you so much. And she actually commented that she recommended the same person that I had found. So just seeing someone recommend an expert is always like a good feeling because it's someone saying that they've tried it. So they did end up looking at Walter and it's Dr. Lori. She is incredible. I actually spoke with her earlier today. I'll get into that a little bit later, but she was fantastic. So what have we learned about Mr. Walter? So it is a European piece, likely English or German origin. And again, I apologize if I'm looking down, I'm just trying to look at my notes so that I make sure I give you the right information. And how she was able to tell that some of the ways are from the back, the frame is actually two pieces straight down and two pieces across instead of a mitered corner where things connect. I'll put an example up here so you know what I'm talking about. Also the darkness of the wood that makes up the frame. And then also the canvas is stretched longer on the sides than it is on the top. She did also point out the spacing of the nails and said that these artists were really trained to stretch the canvas. It could have been an artist out of the Royal Academy in Great Britain. There's also academies in Germany. I believe she used Munich as an example. However, I did not write that down, so I don't wanna say that's definitely what she said. But that was just so fascinating to me. As a side note, I think it's incredible that, you know, experts in these areas are able to just look at a piece and they see all these things that I certainly don't see as someone who isn't a professional, um, but is able to just look at these pieces and figure out its history and kind of know where it came from and what the different paint pieces of the painting show that certainly I would never know. So it was a really, really interesting experience. She said that this would have been painted in about 1825 to 1850. And she said that that is also indicated by kind of this curtain in the back of the photo. She said that would also highlight early 19th century. I did also show her the patch on the back and she said that even this patch is quite old. She estimated about 1920 to 1950. So obviously the canvas itself quite old, but the patch on it to likely repair is also old as well. She did say that the darker the canvas, generally the older the canvas, bright white canvases are much newer than these kind of darker type of canvases. Now, in terms of the damage to the painting, like really, especially at the top there, she said that this painting would have been in an extremely, extremely hot environment. 
it could have potentially even been in a fire and that's what really caused the paint to kind of flake off she did also point out she called them striations in the canvas and it's these kind of like lines across the back and then also you see how it's kind of you see these lines in front of the canvas she kind of described that as the canvas literally trying to hold on and the canvas is actually still secured very well to stretcher or the frame i'm not sure I'm not sure if stretcher frame, if those two words are interchangeable. I want to look that up. I don't want to, I want to try to use the correct terminology for you guys. But essentially this piece was in an extremely, extremely hot environment or exposed to extreme heat. And that is really what caused the damage here. Now, can it be restored? So what Dr. Lori recommended was that I get a referral from my local museum to be referred for, to someone who does restoration. They will look at it. She did say that it likely could be very expensive of a process because of all the work that it's going to have to be done. This isn't kind of a simple cleaning up. It really would be substantial work. She did recommend that if that's something that I pursue, I ask for kind of before and after work so that I can see work from this period with these types of pieces to see how they do with restoration. However, one of the cool things is I actually did speak with her earlier today. We did a FaceTime. I had a couple questions for her. Um, I wanted her to look at some other pieces that I had. She's just, it's, it's really just incredible. Like she's so knowledgeable and just what I've learned from her is, is really cool. So she actually, is in Pennsylvania as well as I am and she was actually able to give me some local names for folks that are in my area of, of people that she has known for a long long time that can maybe help me with a referral or to look at the painting to see what the options are. It may not be worth it to get restored. I know I've said this in other videos but I bring pieces home that inspire me and that I love. These are pieces that go in my home. I'm not a reseller. So whether I bring a piece home and it ends up being worth $2 or worth, or it ends up being worth $2,000, it, it doesn't really make a difference to me because ultimately I bring these pieces home because I love them. And so they'd be staying with me no matter what. I did not buy this piece thinking, oh, I'll have it restored. I loved the way it looked naturally. The damage truly doesn't bother me. Um, I think it's really interesting. I love the colors in it. I just think it's a beautiful piece and I honestly just love how old it is. I have such an appreciation for the fact that this painting went through quite a bit. You know, being in potentially a fire and surviving and just having been around this long from somewhere that is, you know, not local. So it's just, it's so fascinating to me and I just love this piece. So I do not intend to ever resell it, but I may reach out to those local folks just to get their opinion. Um, she did say they will tell me very honestly whether, whether there is a point to restore it or not. So I really appreciate that, but I just wanted to give you guys that update. Oh, you're probably wondering if she told me what it was worth. Uh, she did, and I believe she said in its current state with the damage from like the flaking and things like that, it would probably only be worth about $100. She might have said $150. I can't remember. She either said $100 or $150, but again, it it like it doesn't matter to me. I just love this piece, and this is definitely going to be going up in my office. I can't wait to get my office done. Um, but certainly my office is a space that I hope to be inspiring for me because I'll be doing a lot of work in there. So Walter will definitely be going in there. So that is the update on what she said. Again, I just wanted to make this quick update for you guys because so many of you said that you loved this painting too. So I love that you love it, but that is all I've got for today. Stay tuned. I hope, I hope to make it through my next video and that will be my kitchen makeover video. I'm going to go ahead and get back to fighting with the paint and all of the other things that have gone wrong, but that's okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
if you love thrifted art, if you love DIYs, room makeovers, any of that stuff, you can subscribe to my channel for more of that. If you liked hearing about Walter and what the update was on a piece of art that I thrifted, give this video a thumbs up so I know that's stuff that you guys are interested in. Otherwise, I will see you for the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.